Governor Bello Mohammed has expressed his heartfelt sympathy to the families of victims earlier caught in military fire against Marudin bandits in Maru, local government area of the state. The governor was saddened to hear the latest development when the Nigerian Air Force was out to eliminate a marauding group of bandits, which unfortunately caught a number of civilians, leaving behind a mixture of casualties involving both the bandits and a number of civilians. Already, the state government has swung into action to address the remote and immediate causes of the incident with aim of averting any further ugly incidents such as this one in the future. The Belo Matawali administration has been under pressure lately with the resurgence of banditry in the state, leading to the death of no fewer than 10 soldiers and 68 locals by armed bandits in Zamfara state. They were killed Sunday night in Mutunji village of Dansadao Emirate in Maru local government area of the state. Joining us on the news tonight is the Commissioner of Information, Zamfara State, Ibrahim Dusara. Good evening. It's, uh, the commissioner, it's, it's the Commissioner for Security, DIG retired Mama Ibrahim Sade. Oh, sorry, Commissioner for Security. Uh, quickly, ca can you bring us up to speed with the, the development in the state and what uh, the state government is doing after this mishap? Yeah, yeah it, has, it has been a lot of mis misgrill and uh, happiness and uh, we, we very... Just now, His Excellency, the Governor of uh, Zamfara State, has extended his uh, condolences to our gallant heroes and their uh, mentors who are there. And a letter, a very strong worded letter, has been sent also to the brigade to join them in mourning these gallant officers. And uh, you'll be informed that uh, not only that side, the side of the infantry, I mean, the side of the miscreants has been decimated seriously. And uh, so that's why we have that, uh, I said, mixed grief. We are in a happy mood and also uh, a mood of uh, mourning, sort of. A, a couple of people died, you know, during the raid. And uh, I'm, it's a cause for concern why such incident will happen that way. What do you think should have been done differently not to have allowed this collateral damage uh, from happening? You see, what I'm saying, it's, it, it's a collateral that's in collateral situations, a lot of uh, maybe fresh lessons will be learned and operations will also take uh, maybe smarter dimensions very soon. So I'm sure the military is capable of taking steps to abort the this type of. Uh, but those steps again. should have been taken care of before that kind of damage happened, because a lot of people lost their lives at the end of the day. Definitely, but honestly, it was not intended for the purpose of uh, killing people innocently. So what should be done differently going forward? I'm very sure the military is up to the task to adjust operations in that area. Now, for the families, uh, what is the government doing? I mean, the state government doing to, you know, bring soccer to them? I know there's no, there's no amount of anything given to them that can bring back the lives that have been lost. But what is the government the lives, doing? Yeah. It, it is the tradition of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Zampara State, Dr. Bella Mohammed Matola Maradu, to to extend all sorts of palliatives to people who lost their loved ones gallantly, as in this case of this our military personnel. Definitely the state government is arranging adequately to send some palliatives that will assuage the agnostic feelings of these uh, bereaved families. And what is, and lastly, before we let you go, uh, Mr. Ibrahim, what is the state government doing, you know, in terms of fighting banditry? Because it seems that there seems to be like a resurgence in that area after we thought this uh, fight is over. Rem, 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 remember, His Excellency has never relented in his efforts to ensure that this situation is dealt with decisively. We have found so many paramilitary units, so many committees, so many so many agents were also equally deployed to take care of the internal and external. Now the other security agencies, 
I must commend them. They have put in their best and they are still putting in their best. Definitely all type of assistance is the one for His Excellency is ready to give them. So we will increase that and then we will upgrade our local vigilante and our local uh, community protection units. Thank you so much, Mr. Ibrahim there. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.